This is the first video for the 5-1-B lesson, which focuses on horizontal and vertical lines. This was actually something that we also covered in Module 4, and we're going to review in Module 5. Uh, feel free to pause the video or rewind it if I go too fast. Um, and in this first video, I'm going to go through a couple of slides for the first problem. Um, and it gives us a graph and a table um, for this line, which is known as a horizontal line. And it says complete the table for the graph line. And if we do that correct, um, the points will be red. They'll change colors. So the first point was at negative 4. So it went left 4. And it went down 5. So it was negative 5. We can see we did that correct. The next point, back to the origin, was left 2. And it was down 5 as well. And the next one was right 1. And it was also down 5. And the last one was 5, comma, negative 5. And so we know that we did this correct. The next one says, what do you notice about the y values in a horizontal line? And we can say something about, well, we notice that they're all the same or they are all equal. So. Um, they are all equal, and in this case, they're all equal to negative 5. But for a different horizontal line, they might be different to equal to a different value. We'll click Share with Class. Um, now we're going to state the y-intercept. So that is where the line crosses the y-axis, so we'll follow the y-axis. We may even click right here, and our y-intercept as an ordered pair is 0, comma, negative 5. Um, so it's that negative 5 that shows up everywhere again. And some of these graphs, you'll be able to click on an intercept. Um, you can drag on it, but that one will stay, and that will kind of tell you that this is an important part of the line. We'll click Share with Class. And then next, the slope. If we think back to the slope birdhouse in our conversations about slope, this was zero slope. And we'll click Share with Class. And then we're going to type in an equation, which will show up here if we do this correct which is that all of the y values equal negative 5. So this is y equals negative 5. We sometimes wrote it as y equals 0x temporarily, um, but it's best to get rid of that and just put y equals negative 5. Remember, um, as we're starting to do this, maybe this is coming back, maybe you even have your module 4 lesson that deals with horizontal and vertical, um, but these... Uh, either were y equals or x equals. And it looks like right now we've just reviewed that horizontal is y equals, which is somewhat counterintuitive because the y-axis is vertical, but this shows up as horizontal. And then we have a little summary here that states that for us, all horizontal lines have zero slope and all horizontal lines can be represented by the equation y equals a number. 